swarm a toddler stinging him several times. His mom now is warning other parents about the commonplace the bees were hiding. 13 Action News reporter Annalise Ortiz has their frightening story. Say cheese. It's hard to get this two-year-old to stand still. But last week, Weston and his mom Olivia had to run for their lives. They are aggressive, very, very, very aggressive. Bees that were most likely Africanized attacked her little boy as he was playing near a park on Nellis Air Force Base. They were going in his ears, his eyes, his nose, um, so I grabbed him. When she ran, they followed, stinging her too. The bees came from a hive that was inside of a water meter, just like this one. They're very common around parks and playgrounds. That's why Olivia is warning other parents. Wear those green caps, green caps, or um, tan plastic lids are and they can easily be removed with just the pop of a finger. A bee removal specialist tells us Olivia did the right thing by running inside to get away from the swarm. When you go from hot to cold it makes their wings and everything slow down. He says you should never swat at a swarm and don't jump in a pool. They'll wait for you. Olivia is thankful her motherly instincts kept them safe. We needed to get away from them. And Weston? It's like it's never happened to him. He is he's resilient. He's doing just fine. Annalise Ortiz, 13 Action News. And it is bee season here in Southern Nevada, so if you see a swarm, call the Las Vegas Fire and Rescue Bee Hotline right away and don't try to take care of it yourself.